If you've clicked on this video, your guardian angels have an urgent message just for you today. My dear child, I know your heart is heavy, and your mind is swirling with questions. You wonder why this person keeps coming to your thoughts. You feel a deep connection, don't you? It's as if their presence tugs at your soul, and sometimes, you can't quite understand why, let me tell you, this is not a coincidence. The person on your mind is also on their own journey, searching for meaning, hope, and healing just like you are. Their struggles may not be visible to you, but they are real. They are trying to figure things out, just like you. And sometimes, just knowing that someone else is also on a path of discovery can bring you comfort. Knowing that you are not alone. Show your support with a super thank you up to $20. You may be thinking, why do I keep thinking of them? What am I supposed to do? You see, my child, sometimes the people who appear in your heart are there because you have something to offer them, a kind word, a prayer, or simply love from afar. Sometimes, you are the light they are searching for, without even realizing it. Have you noticed how your heart softens when you think of them? That is my way of guiding you toward compassion, toward understanding that everyone is on their own spiritual journey. The thoughts you have of them are an invitation, a call to be part of their journey, even in the smallest way. But let me tell you something even more important, you are on a journey too. And I see you. I see every step you take, every tear you shed, every prayer whispered into the night. You are not forgotten. You are not abandoned, even in your confusion, I am working in your life. Yes. There may be moments when you feel lost, when you feel as if no one understands. But I understand. I know the thoughts that weigh you down, and I want you to release them to me. Trust me, for I am the one who placed that person in your thoughts for a reason, just as I am the one who is guiding you through your own trials and triumphs. Now, take a deep breath my child. Let that weight lift off your shoulders. You do not need to have all the answers right now. You are not meant to carry the burden of figuring everything out. Remember, I am here, walking with you every step of the way, do you feel tired? That's okay. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to feel weary. But remember that I am your strength when you feel weak. When you are overwhelmed, let me be the calm in your storm. Trust in my timing, even when it feels uncertain. Know that every moment, every experience, every thought has a purpose. And that person on your mind, they are part of that purpose, even if you can't see the full picture yet. Sometimes, I bring people into your life for a season, maybe to teach you something, or maybe to teach them something through you. Sometimes, it's a test of your patience, or a call to grow in love. But no matter what, every connection you have is meant to shape your spirit and deepen your trust in me. You may not know what this person is feeling or going through. But I do. They are carrying their own worries, their own fears. They may be reaching out for love, for guidance, for healing. And in their search, 
You may be the answer to a prayer they haven't yet spoken aloud. But remember, you are not alone in this. I am the one who connects hearts and spirits. I am the one who knows what each soul needs, so, let go of your fear of not knowing. Let go of your need to control what happens next. Instead, focus on love, love for yourself, love for others, and love for me. I have a plan that is far greater than what you can imagine. And though you cannot see every step of that plan, I assure you, it is unfolding just as it should. Trust me, my child. You do not need to rush. You do not need to push. You are right where you need to be, and the person on your mind is right where they need to be as well. Like this video support us if you are able, hold on to hope. Hold on to faith. Because even in moments of uncertainty, I am always working for your good. That person you are thinking of, they may be struggling, they may be searching, but so are you. And through it all, I am guiding you both. Do not be afraid to reach out, to offer a smile, a word of encouragement, or even a silent prayer. You never know how much light you can bring to someone's darkness. You never know how much hope you can restore with a single act of kindness. You are my hands and feet in this world, and through you, I work miracles every day. You may not understand everything right now, and that's okay. But trust that I am always here, always working, always loving. Rest in that truth. And know that no matter what, you are never alone, I want to end with a prayer for you. God, Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart full of thoughts, emotions, and questions. Lord, you know the person who is on my mind right now. They have been in my thoughts so much lately, and I don't fully understand why. But I trust that you do. I trust that there is a reason, a purpose behind this connection. So, Father, I lift this person up to you in prayer. I don't know all of the struggles they may be facing, but you do. You know every worry that weighs them down, every burden they carry. You see the moments when they feel lost or overwhelmed. And so, I ask, Lord, that you would be with them in a special way right now. Surround them with your love, peace, and comfort. If they are feeling confused or unsure of the path ahead, I pray that you would give them clarity. Open their eyes to see your guidance. Help them to trust in your perfect timing, even when things don't make sense. Remind them that they are never alone, that you are always by their side, leading them step by step, Lord, if they are hurting, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually, I ask for your healing touch. You are the great healer, and there is no pain too great for you to heal. Bring them relief, Father. Calm their fears, ease their pain, and restore their spirit. Let them feel your presence in their life, and let that presence bring them hope and strength. Father, if there are wounds in their heart, maybe from past hurts, broken relationships, or unspoken fears, I ask that you would heal those wounds. Sometimes, the deepest pain is the kind we don't even talk about, but you know. 
You see the hidden struggles, and I trust that you can bring healing in ways that go beyond what I can imagine, I also ask for wisdom, Lord. If I am meant to play a role in their healing, if there is something I can do to offer support, love, or encouragement, then guide me. Give me the right words to say, the right actions to take. Show me how I can be a light in their life, reflecting your love and kindness. Help me to listen with a compassionate heart, to offer understanding without judgment, and to be a source of hope when they need it most. But Lord, if my role is simply to lift them up in prayer from a distance, then I trust that you are doing the work that only you can do. Even when I can't be near them, I know that you are closer than any friend or family member ever could be. You are their refuge, their protector, their guide. And so, I entrust them fully into your care. Father, I also pray for their faith. If they are struggling with doubt, if they feel distant from you, I ask that you would draw them close. Sometimes life's challenges make it hard to feel your presence, but I know that you never leave us. Help them to feel your nearness, to sense your love, and to trust in your promises. Strengthen their faith, Lord, and remind them that you are always working for their good, even in the hard times, and Father, as I pray for them, I also ask that you would work in my heart. Help me to release any anxiety or worry I may feel about this person. I know that I can't control their journey, but I can trust that you are in control. Teach me to trust you more deeply. To rest in your plan, and to have faith that you are taking care of both them and me, if there are any feelings of frustration, doubt, or impatience in my heart, help me to let go of those as well. I surrender them to you, knowing that you are sovereign and that your ways are higher than mine. I don't need to understand everything to trust that you are good. Help me to release the need for answers and to embrace the peace that comes from simply resting in your love. Finally, Lord, I pray for peace, peace for this person and peace for my own heart. The world can be overwhelming, and the mind can be filled with so many thoughts and worries. But in your presence, there is peace. You are the calm in the storm. The anchor that holds us steady when life feels uncertain. So, I ask for your peace to fill both of our hearts. Let it be a peace that transcends all understanding, a peace that only you can give. Thank you, Father for hearing my prayer. Thank you for the love you have for this person and for me. I trust that you are already at work in ways I cannot see, and I am grateful that I can come to you with all my concerns, knowing that you care deeply about each one. Help me to continue to lift this person up in prayer, trusting that you are with them every step of the way. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Money concerns dominate our thoughts day and night. However, imagine transforming your financial worries with a simple, yet profoundly effective, seven second wealth prayer. This isn't just a routine, it's a gateway to a life of freedom and choice, integrated into your morning ritual. Discover an extraordinary opportunity through one of the most unique and valuable resources ever uncovered, a rare Hebrew Bible. Not just any Bible, 
but one so unique it can't be found in stores or ordinary places of worship. Featured on the History Channel, this Bible sold for a staggering $38.1 million. But what if I told you that a single page from this ancient text, lost for centuries, holds the key to revolutionizing your financial life? This page contains a hidden manifestation secret that could be the turning point for ending your financial struggles and leading you towards the abundant life you've always desired. Take control of your destiny, today. Click the link given in description and pine comment and watch full video. If you love God and are not ashamed of Him, share this prayer with your friends and learn how God will work in your life. Show your support by contributing $20 to $50 to create more videos. Let us join together in faith, lifting up our voices in praise and thanksgiving. May this prayer be a testament to your goodness and grace, spreading hope and encouragement to all who hear it. In the mighty name, type 1111 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video where you hear it.